Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to use ARM DAF in the remote desktop server. Okay, so now, let us start it. For example, if you are using the personal PC, you are able to use the ARM and DAF. Okay, let me open the keyboard. Keyboard on screen keyboard. Able to use ARM and DAF to change the to change the application on the on the PC very easy. Okay. And for example here I will open the ARM tab here and you are able to navigate to another application or browser folder or another another thing you are opening on the PC. Okay. So here if you are using the remote desktop to a server or even to another PC, show how to use the ARM and TAF on that PC. Okay, let me open the remote desktop feature. Yeah, so this is the remote desktop feature. Before I connecting to the remote desktop PC, let me open the show options for you to see the detail. Yeah, okay, so in option, for the remote desktop connection, we have three, one, two, three, four, five tab. Yeah, general display, load, cost, resources, experience, and as one. Today in this video, we just focus to these local resources. Yeah, tab here. Okay, you take a look into the keyboard. Okay, by default, the option in the drop down list here will be selected e only when using the full screen okay so what does it mean using it in the full screen only that means when you are remote to the desktop connection desktop if you are open it in a full screen you are able to use some of the functionality default as you are using the, the, the personal pc okay so for example on the current pc you are able to use the an and tab yeah to change to change an, another application on the PC so when you are open it in the full screen full screen on the remote desktop you are also able to use the same and and tab on that PC okay so now let me connect to the, the remote desktop server and show you the demonstration okay so here, let me open the folder. So what? Okay. This one. Yeah, something like show. Yeah, okay. So here, for example, on the server, I'm opening three folder. Okay. So now you are easier to press the and and tap on the keyboard. Yeah. And you can swap it and select what you want to be using. For example, I'm using the Firefox browser. Yeah. Or user server manager. Okay, very easier. Okay, so let me close this one. Yeah. And we open this one again. Close this one. Open remote desktop again. And we see another option for local resources. I change it on the remote computer. Yeah. Connect it. Okay. So here, for example, let me. Yeah. For now, here you are able to use the and and tap. Okay, the same. But let me try to minimize this one. I didn't open it in the full screen. Okay, so here let me try to change it. Yeah, and you are still able to 
you the an and tap even you don't open it in the full screen yeah so here if i minimize this one and try to change it here yeah it would be would be the same okay okay and you can try with another option here let me open this one and i will close this one okay let me open it again yeah so here please have try with the on this computer yeah. so when you select the option on this computer that means you are only able to use the keyboard and its functionalities on this personal pc only you cannot do anything in the remote desktop okay okay so i hope that's we will have fun for you if you have any question let me know thank you for watching bye bye and see you guys in the next video